Welcome back to a new episode of BMW Today. My name is Joy and today's topic is the 4 Series Convertible. With me are two experts, Andy and Sungmo. Hi, Hi Sungmo, how are you doing? I'm doing good. So, tell me, what is your exact job in the company? I'm a senior exterior designer at BMW. I worked for the four Coupe and the Convertible oh. as the lead exterior designer. Very cool. And Andy, what you were doing in the car? I was opening the roof. <laughs> okay, makes sense. Tell me, what is your job in the company? I'm the product manager of the new 4 Series Coupe and Convertible. So you two guys were responsible for that they cut off the roof of the coupe? Yes. Sort of. Really? Yeah. Before we talk about the design, tell me, how important is the 4 Series for the BMW Group? Extremely important. Okay. Um, 4 Series is the emotional part of our company, so that is pure Freude am Fahren. By developing the 4 Series, what was the main thing you were focusing on? This is the second generation of 4 Series that we now have, and we were aiming on a maximum of differentiation, on a maximum of emotionalization mm -hmm. of the 4 Series compared to the 3. Okay, and you did that in the exterior, I guess, with design. That is a very important pillar, obviously. So I'll switch to Sung Mo. Sung Mo, tell me, what makes the 4 Series or the 4 Series convertible so different from other cars? This daring and expressive and imposing kidney grill yeah. does the job, having two different faces between 3 Series and 4 Series. Okay, and the kidney is not only a design element, it's also some technical things going on there. Yeah, that's correct. So if we talk about the technical benefits of the kidney grill of the mm -hmm. four, we have two different kind of section up and down there. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, we have motorized air flaps okay. here and also down there inside. Uh, this makes the perfect aerodynamic performance. Mm -hmm. So this makes the technical benefits and the other one is all the sensors and the camera and the radar mm -hmm. are placed within the kidney grill mm -hmm. for the first time. So which means the vertical and large kidney grill was not only the uh, design uh, challenge, but also technique challenge as well. So I got it with the kidney. Tell me a little bit more about the design highlights of that car. Yeah, the design uh, has lots of features in here and there. Mm -hmm. So we just uh, covered with the kidney grill. So now we can move on to the side view. Yeah. So we have very simple surfacing. So I would say maybe four lines is enough to describe this car. Yeah. So we have main character line here. So I think the most interesting uh, part and the cool part of the convertible design is you can see exterior and the interior together. Yeah, that's true. You so can see it at the same car. time. Absolutely. Yeah. So the the character line, or what I mentioned earlier, yeah. uh, is repeated in the interior. So ah, the, yeah, that's true. Yeah, the section on the door is used in the door trim, and which is continuing in the second rear seat row, and this is somehow. Uh, uh, sharing the same theme. So the planners are even? Uh, it's somehow it's like offset. This yeah. is the kind of design term. So you uh, the copy and the move in a certain direction. So this interior and exterior has a, a same story. Yeah. So it's a one holistic object. Yeah, it's very neat and clean on the outside and the inside you can see that as well. That's very cool. I can see a new color on that. It's, it's shining very, very nice in the sun. How is the color called? It is called San Remo Green. So I love this color personally so much. How do you like it? I love it. It's full of variation. So this color is deeper mm -hmm. and has much more opulent uh, value in it. Mm -hmm. So it accentuates the uh, drama of the surface yeah. with the stronger contrast you uh, can see the lines. Shadow and lights. Yeah, yeah. So it reflects the environment perfectly. We're talking about the roof the roof change from hard top to soft top. Let's move over to the other car we have here. Are there any other benefits than design benefits because the silhouette changed? Andy. This soft top 
is called a multi-panel, multi-layer construction. Okay. So therefore, we were able to um, shave off 40% of the weight of the roof itself. That, again, uh, lowers the center of gravity. Mm. Um, of course. Yeah. Yes, and uh, the most important um, yeah, benefit also is uh, that we have a much better comfort in terms of acoustics and also in terms of temperatures. That means this car is acoustically better? Definitely. Okay. Def definitely better than the retractable hardtop. Okay. And what about the trunk? That is a very important thing. Yeah. Um, Because I, it's a soft top, yeah, I guess it's again, better. Again, once the top is open, mm -hmm. the size of the top is much, much smaller and therefore it takes much less space in the trunk. Ah, yeah, Then again, that. we have a lot more space when the top is down, that is 80 liters more. Okay, that's very, very cool. And what about opening and closing the rooftop? How long does it take? That is 18 seconds, opening and closing. And how much is the speed I can drive at maximum? That goes up to speeds of 50 kilometers. Oh, okay, that's very cool. So in the city, while driving, I can open and close it? Absolutely, yes. That's really very cool. Let me ask you one feature you love the most about this car. Let's start with you, Sumo. Andy just mentioned about the, uh, the, the smaller volume of the canvas stuff. Yeah. So thanks to that one, uh, so we were allowed to have like, you know, a beautiful feature line over here, mm -hmm. for example here. So Coupe doesn't have this one. Okay, So true. this line this lies on the uh, sweet spots yeah. for technique and the design for both. So this one creating beautiful section here. So mm -hmm. I'll pick this one. And in combination, can, yeah, with the camel stuff. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Andy, what about you? Yeah, I have to be boring there. Uh, it's also this uh, <laughs> no, no soft top. Uh, no, seriously, um, it's not only the looks. It's it's the weight. It's the weight distribution. It's driving dynamics. So it completes the uh, picture of that new 4 series convertible make, make, make it sense. only less has weight, advantages in less area. weight more dynamics yeah. and even more comfort yes now one last question guys when is it possible to drive that car on the streets i can't wait <laughs> yeah me too <laughs> andy just in time for the next convertible season in march 21 very cool thank you very much for your thank time you. I hope to see you soon again. And you guys outside there, thanks for watching BMW today. Hope to see you soon on the next episode.